Hello friends, so in the previous video I've created this application and here we can uh, go and log in and also if we are admin we can navigate to this uh, road products yeah because we are as admin but if, our, if we are logged in as a user and navigate to the uh, products we have this 4 or 3 forbidden because we add the middleware for only the user who is uh, admin can visit that route and that is okay if you want uh, only as administrator uh, can create and edit and delete products but in this case in my uh, products uh, table I have created 10 products and I have added this user ID. I want to all of to allow users to create products. So for that we need to remove. I open the web routes. I want to remove this middleware from here and leave this uh, route products to be visited by all the authenticated users and now if I come here and refresh first we are logged in as test user here and if I navigate to the products yeah we are in the products and we have this product list and now for the admin area I want to create another section so we can go to the admin slash products for example and in here we can have another layout because we are as admin we can have maybe a sidebar and all of that so and in here I want to display all the products this user has okay and if we are as admin and we go to the admin dot products uh, slash products we can display all the products the database has okay so first for that we need to go here and navigate to the product controller and here I added this auth user products so only the products this authenticated user is going to display there N not a uh, product all because he, if I do that so here we can this uh, with that we can have all the products here but we don't want we want to display all the products this user has okay and also in the user model if I open the user model I have added this relationship so products and return this many this has many products for that we I have added this one okay now uh, I want to create another controller another route to display the admin products and also I'm going to create another controller only for admin to navigate for example to dash admin so open the terminal and I'm going to say here artisan make controller admin and slash admin controller and also another one for product controller okay close that go to the web PHP and inside here now I'm going to create another road road and uh, middleware okay and here I'm going to add is admin now in here it can be only the admin user also I'm going to add a name here and the name is going to be admin dot and also the prefix which is going to be admin 
and say group add a closure and in here can be only the admin users so i'm going to copy and paste this one and we need to add now here the product controller which is in the admin okay and we import it as admin product controller very good also i want to create another road big cat to the slash and add the admin controller now class and the method is going to be index okay save this one go to this admin controller and create that index method public function uh, index and here i'm going to return the view don't have that so admin dot index okay save and in the resources uh, views i'm going to create a new folder here admin and new file index.blade.php sorry blade.php uh, here i'm going to copy what we have in the dashboard copy and paste it here just here i'm going to say admin and also admin index here save close this one and also in the product controller inside the admin here now in the product controller we display all the user products but here i want to display all the products so create that method first index and say the products now products is going to be product and import that all and return and also we don't have the view so admin dot uh, products dot index save and i'm going to do is uh, inside the views we have these products i'm going to copy and paste in the admin area okay and with that if i uh, also here we need to add the products i forget okay with that now if i go here here we are logged in as admin refresh first and navigate to the admin yeah we have admin and admin here but if i copy and come here here we are logged in as a test user and hit enter we have 403 forbidden because we are not admin okay next one is uh I want to add a link here to go to the products and that's it very easy we need to go inside the layouts navigation and here we have the dashboard so next to this one i'm going to add a new link copy and paste and this is going to be the products.index okay and here i'm going to say products save come here and refresh and yeah we have the highlighted here because we are in the products i go here and navigate yeah and also the same thing we have here products okay 
one more thing. I want to display the link to go to the admin. If we are admin user, I want to display the link here to go to the admin. So with that, uh, in here we have the drop down. I'm going to copy this link here. Drop down link. Now with that, add it. Here, the route is going to be admin dot index. Okay, the admin index is because we add the name admin dot here. So all the routes after this one, for example, here we we need to give it a name here. So if I give it a name as index, okay, because the admin is here. So we have the admin dot, here we need only to add the index. And for the products, we have, here we have slash products, and the road name is just products and index, but here we have admin dot products dot index, okay? Hope you understand that. In navigation now, we need to say admin index, or return, or remove this, we don't need that. And here also we say, admin if i save and refresh here if i click we have this admin link but also we have the admin link as here and we don't don't want that we want to display that only if the user is admin and we need to do is cut this and say the authenticated sorry uh, if the authenticated user is admin, display that. Save from here and refresh. Yeah, we have the admin link here, and also we can go here. But if we are not admin, and click we don't have the link and also if i want if we want to navigate to the admin we have four or three okay friends that is for this video in the next video i want to display all the products here all the products this user has here we are as admin but i want to display all the product as this user has and the same thing here so go to the dashboard and if I click here, we want, I want to display the products of this user. But if we want to, if we are admin and want to have all the products, we need to go to the admin. And maybe here we need to create another layout and this have the link for the products and all of that. But that is going to be in the next one. Hope you enjoy and see you there. All the best.